Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, all that is within me. Bless his holy name. The Lord is good. The Lord is kind. The Lord is merciful. The Lord is the reason why we're here. Nothing that you and I have done, but it's because of his goodness we're here this morning. For all of his goodness, won't you just tell the Lord thank you today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you today, Lord. We praise you today. Amen. We praise you today, Lord. We, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You're watching Miracle Temple Church of Deliverance, located 601 West Silas Brown Street, where the pastor is Dr. T.J. Calhoun. You're at the right place at the... Uh, you're at the right place at the... Uh, you can be at the wrong place at the wrong time. You can be at the right place at the... You're at the right place this morning. Amen. You're at the right place this morning. Amen. We praise the Lord for our man of God who teaches us the true word of the Lord. I know you pray for pastors. He pray for you. Let's pray one. Let's pray one. We praise the Lord for Pastor Mark. God bless you, Pastor Mark. Good to see you today. Amen. Mother Amos, God bless you. Amen. Uh, Mother Calhoun, God bless her. Amen. God bless each of you today. Tell somebody, God bless you today. God bless you today. God bless you. God bless you, Ronnie. God bless you. God bless you, Mark. God bless you, Neil. God bless you. Amen. God bless you today. Amen. Amen. Come on. God is so good. Come on. Tell somebody, God is so good. Come on. Hey, come on. He's so good. God is so good. God is so good. Amen. God is good. Next Sunday is homecoming. We're inviting all of our former members, past members, friends, cousins, auntie, the Lord Puka M. Big Mama Shantae and Shanene. Uh, yeah, yeah, they was in Shanene and all that. You were talking about we're in the hood this morning. I know that's right. I know that. We, they call her Nene now. They call her Nene. Back then they called her something there. But we're calling them, amen. Calling them in, amen. We're going to have a wonderful time next Sunday. A wonderful time. We're going to fellowship also immediately after Sunday worship. We're telling you that you can wear your favorite team. You know, uh, uh, Kevin Light, you, uh, San Francisco? Okay, fair enough. Uh, uh, so, uh, or, or, or you can wear your Jackson State or Ole Miss or whatever. Or God did. God did. I'm, I'm, God did. He did. And what he did, he did everything for me. Amen. He did everything. I'm nothing without him. I'm lost without him. I'm helpless without him. But with him, I know I can do all things. Amen. God did a t-shirt. God did a t-shirt. Oh, God did. Amen. God did a t-shirt. Amen. God did. Amen. They were in the bookstore. God did. The God did t-shirt. Because you, you, you walk and you're walking testimony of who God is. We're not just going to see him, but we'll see you. And every time you people see you, that's a testimony. I know, I know you're thinking that you did it by yourself, but God did it. God did it. I, again, I'll be helpless without the Lord. Amen. Homeless without the Lord. Amen. Lost without the Lord. Sick without the Lord. Hospital without the Lord. God did it. God did everything. He's doing it right now. Amen. God doing it right now. Tell somebody, God doing it right now. He's blessing me right now. God is blessing me right now. God is blessing me right now. Amen. Amen. Don't forget prayer call this evening at 6 o'clock. The prayers of the righteous prevail as much. 
prayer call this evening at 6 o'clock. God is answering some prayers. Amen. God is answering some prayers. Tell somebody God is a prayer answering God. He's a prayer answering God. I know he is. He's a prayer answering God. Amen. God is a prayer answering God. Many of you got a whole bunch of prayers been answered. Amen. And if they ain't answered already, they, it's on the way. Your miracle is on the way. Amen. Your blessing is on the way. Amen. Your deliverance is on the way. Amen. Amen. Now, now you got to be consistent with it, though. You can't start and stop. You got to believe constantly. You got to believe the devil will tell you it's not coming, but the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. He's the father of lies. Amen. God says it is done. Amen. It's done. It's done. Tell somebody it's done. Come on, tell them it's done. It's done. It's done. It, 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 again, if you want to pay your tithes uh, and offering, give your offering, go online to Giveify. Giveify to go online and, and, and give and pay your tithes. The Lord loves a cheerful giver. Amen. He, the, the word of the Lord says, bring your tithes and offering to the storehouse. There may be meat in my house. Prove me here with, said the Lord. See, when I open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, you won't have room enough. To receive. He said, I would have rebuked the devils for your sake. The devils cannot destroy the fruit of your ground. Your vine will not cast its fruit before time. All nations are going to call you blessed. You're the lights of people. Amen. Uh, come on, won't you shout out loud? I am a tither. I tithe. Because I tithe, the windows of heaven open for me. God is pouring me out a blessing that I don't have room enough to receive. When the devil come up against me, the Lord rebuke him for my sake. For my sake. Say, neighbor, it's harvest time around here. It's harvest time. God is perfecting my timing. My timing. And when people see me, they call me blessed. They wondering how we do what we do. It's because I am blessed. Come on, Sam, I am blessed. Come on and make the devil have a lie. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. Come on, tell somebody, I am blessed. Come on, tell, I am blessed. I'm blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. Amen. All week, tell yourself you're blessed. Amen. The devil will have, you, will have you feeling sorry for yourself, thinking that it's not going to happen. You're blessed. You're blessed. Amen. Come on. You're blessed. Come on. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. Come on. You ain't act like you're blessed this morning. Say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I am blessed. I'm blessed. I am blessed. Amen. I'm blessed, no one. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. You know, uh, uh, let, let me just tell you this. So I was, um, I was last week. Last week I was uh, watching 60 Minutes after we get after we got a prayer, right? Six, six thirty, and I saw. Uh, I think it's uh, LeBron's agent, Rich Paul, uh, and so Rich Paul was saying that uh, that he just happened to be at the right place at the right time, and LeBron stopped and talked to him. See, you don't need everybody like you. You just need the right person like you. You're trying to make everybody like you, but you don't need everybody like you. That's just a waste of your time. Your energy, just, you just need the right person like you. He was at the right place at the right time. He was at the right place. And by him being at the right place, he met LeBron, and the rest is history. Now this guy has one of the biggest agency and represent, you know, just you're at the right place this morning. I'm just want to tell you you're at the right place this morning. Come on, brother Andre, come on. Come on, you're at the right place this morning. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Come on, let's worship the Lord. Come on, put your hands together. Let's bless the Lord. Tell your neighbor next to you, I came to praise him. How many really came to praise the Lord this morning? He's worthy to be praised. Come on, look at somebody next to you and tell you he's worthy. 
Come on, say it like you're it. Say, he's worthy to be praised. This one. The song said, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is what? Come on, say it like amen. He's worthy to be praised. This one. Come on, clap your hand and bless him. Trouble, I can call Jesus. him. Jesus, no other name 
Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. that's joy, salvation, Jesus. peace. Whatever you need this morning, you can call Jesus. on Him. Yeah. Call on His name. That's nobody. Jesus, clap your hand and praise Him. Okay? Jesus, that's healing in His name. Jesus, hey. late in the midnight hour, I can call Jesus. Him. change your hand.
swift transition. Not on earth, my moves can't stand. You better build your hopes on things eternal. Why don't you hold to God's unchanging hand? Come on, cry, tell me and hold, hold to his hand. My God's unchanging hand.
Glory, glory, glory. Wonderful Jesus, wonderful Lord. Let us pray. Oh, my God, we thank you for your blessing, your kindness, and love, and tender compassion. Another day, Lord, you bless us to be back in the house of prayer. Bless this service today around the four corners of the earth. Bless your people here today. In Jesus' name, amen. Give the Lord a praise. Amen. You may have your seat, your pastor, but can. Amen. Truly, we praise God and thank God for his blessing, what God is doing in these services, how God is blessed around the world. Says in Turkey, you know that in Turkey, Turkey, listen to us today. Yeah, he say, listen to Turkey. Amen. From Rome, and listen to us, amen, today. Amen. Let's give God a hand. Amen. 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 I tell you, God is so good to us, and we thank God for what he has done and what God is doing. Amen. In these last and evil days, when we can give God some praise and thanks. Amen. 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 You sang it was singing all the way to church this morning. Oh, no. Amen. We amen. We thank God. A prayer call. Amen. Prayer call. New prayer call. And we're gonna be praying tonight. Amen. One hundred and um seventy nine thousand twenty four. People gonna be praying with us tonight. New folks. 100,000 new folks. Amen. Gonna be praying with us tonight. How many of y'all praying? Yeah. Amen. Amen. We thank God for that. Praise God. Amen. The people that are praying for Israel. And amen. The Bible tells us to pray for Israel. Amen. And 445,333. 400,000 people. Amen. It's praying. Amen. Amen. God knows how many more are praying, but praise God. Thank God for those that are praying. Amen. For Israel. Amen. The breath bring peace in the land. Amen. Let's stand for this one. Let's stand for this one. Amen. Give the Lord a good old hand off it. For you, even. <laughs> you know, Amen. We thank God for Amen. Hold it, hold it. This sounds sound good, Amen. Nine million people. I love it. nine million. That's good. Nine million, Amen, Amen. Give him another hand. Come on, nine million people. Amen. We thank God for that. Praise God. Amen. Let us pray for the people around the four corners of the earth. Father God, bless nine. Bring the livers, O oh God, and touch and bless these peoples and bless those that wish you with us. Bless their homes, their lives, and their jobs, and their prosperity. Bless them, O oh God, both spiritually and financially. Bring a total and a complete deliverance in Jesus' name. Amen. You may have your seat, your possible can. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Well, well, amen. A lot of people, amen, may not believe that we were reaching the world, the whole world, total, completely. So it's good to know, amen, you reach from Rome, amen, Athens, all around the world today. Can you say amen again? Amen. So we are so thankful for that. Amen. Thankful for God, what God is doing and how God is blessing these last evil days. Amen. God is so good to us. And we've been talking about faith. 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 Amen. You know, amen. Sometimes, amen, we praise God. We're talking about faith and what faith is and how faith what? 
and how to get results in faith. See, faith, we a lot of time for years we've been talking about faith, but we hadn't been getting no results. And still a lot of time we talk about faith and don't get no results. But amen, but I wanted amen to put a little more emphasis on faith and and what it is and what it how it work. Huh? Faith is a complete trust in God. Huh? Faith is a foundation builder. Faith build a foundation. Huh? That's what faith is, a builder. Builder. That's what it's all about, a builder. And that, and that, that what makes faith so strong, it is, it feel the foundation of God. Amen. And we're going to go in the book of James today and talk a little bit about faith. And I, can you get this good? Because I believe that to have faith, number one, have faith. We must find what we believe in and hold fast to it. Find what we believe in and hold fast to it. And believe with all our heart. Huh. See, a lot of times what faith is is when you find what you believe. Or find the church you believe in. And believe it with all your heart. Now, this is what makes faith so strong. You got to believe it. Y'all get it? And, and um, amen. A lot of times we say, well, I believe in this. James said, this is what he said, a double-minded person is unstable in all of his ways. Huh? Let him ask in faith unwavering. So you got to be steadfast. Steadfast. Get it? And to have faith, you got to be steadfast. You can't be a wishy-washy. Huh? I know you ever said, praise God. Huh? <laughs> you got to put all your trust huh? in one thing to get a full result out of it. Have all your trust, all your heart. Believe the Lord with all your heart and all your soul. Huh? With everything within you, you have to put all your trust in it. So I'm going to put it here out there and let you know what it's all about. Believe it. And all to get results. And James here said here in faith. The second chapter of the book of James is saying, Amen. What well, does it profit, my brethren? Do a man say he have faith and have not works? Can faith save him? Do a man say he has faith and has not works? Can faith save him? You get the point? Huh? He got to have some works. Works. And this is why it says here, uh, Paul says in Philippians, working out your salvation with fear and trembling. Working out your fear and trembling. Faith had to have some works to it. Amen. Amen. You listen to what he said. My brother. So a man may say he has faith and has not works. Can faith save him? See? You got to have some works to this faith. Proof. And this is the point is what, what faith is all about. Faith is like this. This is what faith is. This is what faith is. 
Faith is Jesus working in us. It's Bible says hope, glory. But faith is working for Jesus. We're working for Jesus. And that's what faith. This is why he gave you faith to work for him. Huh? To work for him. He did say, if I be lifted up from the earth, I draw all men unto myself. Faith is that we lift up Jesus. Lift him up. Y'all get it? Amen. Not that what faith is. Amen. Faith is you finding you a good church home and working to build it up. Faith is you, huh? Huh? Because you got to work. And somebody said working. And, and send them wherever you want to send them. That's not faith. Faith said your fruit is supposed to remain. You're supposed to get some fruit in the church you go to. And your fruit is supposed to remain. Huh? That's, a, that's the way faith works. Somebody said, well, how do I I say it's supposed to, when you get saved, you're supposed to work to get some proof for your church. Somebody said, I get some proof for everybody. No. If you got proof for everybody, you would be like the drunkard. They go out and they waste all their money. And then build it home up. A drunker don't care what about building his house. He wastes all of his money and, don't, and go home without anything. And this is happy. And if faith is working in you, you are not happy without doing nothing. You're happy when you build your church. Have it when you go in the streets and witness and bring folks to the house of God. That's faith. Billing. Y'all get the point? So this is what makes you hey, hey, set faith. Set faith in faith. Every one of us who have faith in the Lord. Well, you're in this church or that church. Right? When you leave here or die, you ought to have somebody to carry your, your, with your name on. There ought to be somebody still here that know you. Because you what? Huh? Because you don't have nobody here, amen. It's, it, what James said, faith without works is dead. You've been working, and first thing you start working at home, working with your family. Get your family saved. Get your family in the house of God. Get your family in church. Get your family believing in you. Uh-oh. This is what I'm going to try to get to faith. Now, come on, we're going to get down to it. If a brother or sister be naked or destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, depart in peace, be ye warm and fear. Notwithstanding, he give them not those things which are needful to the body. Just praying a prayer ain't going to help nobody. Huh. James, if you just pray the prayer, and the man see a cold. Huh? Told them to be warm. Told them to be full. And they give them no food. Huh? So you got sad faith without work. So faith is supposed to have some work with it. Right? If a man is hungry, you feed him. If you're naked, you close him. Right? That's, that's what you call work now. You work, your faith is working. A lot of times, one while faith is not working, 
because we're not working our faith. You got to work your faith. We come to the house of God to learn how to work our faith. And then after we learn, <laughs> we go back into the vineyard and work it. You go back out there and work. All the week you go out there and work. Work. He give you faith to work. Right? Because James said, working out your salvation with fear and trembling. Working it out. And, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Paul. Now he went on to say the more you could. And one of you said to him, depart in peace and be warm and feel notwithstanding. He give them not those things which are needful to the body. Huh. What does it profit? So you ain't did nothing. Huh. You can be a shallow, you can be a runner, you can do anything you want to do. That's it. And if you don't build up what you believe in, the Bible says you wasn't in for that. He said a man that don't take care of his house. It wasn't an infidel had denied the faith. You know what he said? He said, if you don't take care of your own house, you wasn't an infidel and denying the faith. That means when you get saved, you think about your house. Think about the place you go to build it up. Think about your house. Hey, Amen. You think of saying infidel, don't think about it. He said, you wasn't infidel, denying the faith. Amen. Oh, praise God. It, 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 it kind of helped our faith. He went on to say, praise God. Amen. Amen. He was so faith. If it had not worked, it's dead. Dead. If it don't work, it's dead. If it ain't doing nothing, it's dead. If it ain't bearing fruit, it's dead. Every tree that don't bear fruit, he said, cut it down and cast it to the fire. And every good tree, it bears fruit. He said, purge it and it bear, bring forth more fruit. So, he went to say, he said here, even so, faith, if it has not works, is dead, being alone. See, faith without works is dead. It's got to have some works with it. Got to be doing something. Uh uh. <laughs> got to be bearing fruit. Every tree is supposed to bear fruit. So you're like a tree and you're supposed to bear some fruit. Uh -huh. When you get saved, you're like a tree. You're supposed to bear fruit. And your fruit supposed to remain with you, where you are. All right. Come on. And if you ain't bear no fruit, you're dead. And what do you mean by dead? You ain't no good to your church and nobody else. What's the thing about it? A dead man ain't no good to you. <laughs> you think about what he has done and not what he does. A dead man is not, when he dies, he's dead. And if you're a dead man, sitting there, a dead woman said, hey amen, and, and can't bear fruit, you're dead. Huh? And if you're lying, you're going to get out there and exercise and work your faith. You got to work it. You got to work your faith. Work your faith. Uh-uh, y'all, listen. Every kind of good listening. Here's no faith. If it has not works, it's dead being alone. Faith without works is dead being alone. Faith that don't work is dead. Huh. And the only way to make your faith come alive you got to work. You got to put that faith to work. 
Nobody had to tell you, amen, whether you're working or not. You got to work that thing. And how are you going to do it? Remember your neighbors next door. Remember your people on the job. Not enough, and not enough to tell them about being saved, but you got to understand what faith is. Faith is you, as an individual, has found something worth telling. Did I say it right? Faith is you that has found something worth testifying about. You have found something worth talking about. You have found something worth telling your neighbors about, your friends about. Say, I found Jesus. Huh? Like Nick Daniel says, praise God. When he got ready to Peter, he said, went to Peter, he, he said, I found Jesus. I found Jesus. So, what, what it is, what is a witness and what is a person who works in faith? One who has found something worth talking about. Huh? Has found something worth telling somebody about. Has found something worth dying for. Somebody said, if you don't love him well enough to die for him, you don't love him. Uh-oh. And that sounds right about right, don't it? So what is faith? Faith is that you have found something. Huh? That you love so much that you worth telling somebody about. It's a story, a testimony, how good God is and what God finds you at and the state of life you were in when God found you. The condition of life you was in when God found you. That you were blind, but God opened your eyes. And now you can see I want you to come and go to the place where I found my Savior. I found Jesus. That's what that faith is all about. It's the way they're working it. We want to say praise God. For that. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Even so, faith, if it had not worked it, Dead. Be alone. Yeah, yeah, the name may say, I have faith. And I have, thou has faith, and I have work. Said, show me. Show me thy faith without thy works. And I will show thee my faith by my work. Show me your faith without works and what it has accomplished you. Huh? What you have got out of your faith. What faith has done for you without works. And I will show you my faith by my works. Huh? You see what I'm talking about? I mean, I tell you, that's why a lot of times we hadn't been read because a lot of times we've been uh, talking the faith and hadn't been working the faith. Faith is a working thing. It's a moving thing. It's, a, it's something that makes the impossible come alive in your life. And it won't, it will praise the Lord. Amen. And I believe it that there is one God that do it well. The devils also believe in trouble. If you believe that there is one God, you do well, but the devil believe in trouble. He ain't doing no work, but he believe in trouble. Y'all get the point? 
just believing that there's one God, that don't mean nothing. You got, you got to put your faith to work. Huh? You got to, amen, put your faith. And what, what, what? Getting out telling folks about Jesus. Talking about Jesus. Tell them about what you found. Tell them about where you got it at. Because you didn't get your blessing anywhere. I don't care who you are. That was a certain place you found. That was a certain place that God done something for you. And that's what, that what testifying is all about. Amen. And that's what working your faith, working your faith, mean that you've been telling somebody about Jesus and what he's done for you, how good he's been to you, huh? And where it's happening at. That's you got to add on it, too. I'm not uh, telling you what they pray. I'm not preaching praise this morning. I'm preaching faith. Amen. It's telling people where you got your blessing from. Where God brought you out from. You got to be able to tell somebody. You can't be ashamed or ashamed. He said, if you're ashamed of me, I won't be ashamed of you. But if you profess me, I will also profess you before my father. But if you're ashamed of me, I won't be ashamed of you. So that means that you to work your faith, you got to boldly tell somebody about Jesus. Boldly tell them where you got your blessing from. And boldly as much as possible if your blessing is good for you, you ought to work to make it good for your children. Huh? You know, and, you know, come on, if this blessing is good for you, if God is blessing you, you are not to willfully let your children go yonder and miss their blessing. If your blessing is good for you, if you got a blessing, if God has blessed you and made a way for you, you got to let your children know that the God that you serve is real. Let your sisters and your brothers know that they can find a God. You see what I'm talking about? I mean, I say, somebody said, well, praise God for you. No, why let your children go somewhere else when you don't find a gold mine? Either you don't want them to have the gold, or you don't care. But number one, if you found the gold mine, you ought to tell your children about it. Make your children know where you found it at. They can have a part of the mine. Which actually, they're supposed to have a part of the mine, because your children supposed to be blessed in the Bible when they say one, he said, the Lord saved his household. His household was saved. He didn't just save the man, he saved the household. Whole house. Total house. And Paul and them got uh, 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 pray for the man, he got saved, he baptized the whole house. That's what faith is all about. Faith is Believing in something you believe in, and you know it's true. You know it's the truth. And therefore you believe it. Amen. The devils also believe and do what? Tremor. They tremor. The devil's scared. Amen. Amen. The devil is scared. He tremor. But will thou know? O vain man, that faith without works is dead. 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 I don't know how you talk, you talk, talk, talk. You got to walk, walk. You can't just talk this thing and make it work. It got to be some action behind it. You can't just talk what you well, our faith is 
Yeah, faith is so and so. Faith is the impossible. Surely faith is impossible. But you ain't getting the impossible. Because you had to learn how to make the faith work. You got to learn how to make your faith work. Huh? That's, 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 that's your house. You got to learn how to build your house. Somebody going to praise God and amen. You can build everybody else's house, but you can't build your own house. Tell everybody else how they ought to be doing, and you ain't doing nothing. So in your house, the one bride in the free ride says, sweep around your own door before you try to tell somebody else to sweep around there. And that's about the size of it, isn't it? That's about the size of it, amen, because sometimes we don't know, amen, what we're supposed to. Faith is, no matter who you are, you are supposed to take a firm stand in, who, in what you believe and why you believe it at. A form said, don't let nobody shake you from your belief. Huh. It ain't the idea that your faith is running all over the world. You done made a form stand. You're going to stand firm on your faith. Believing that God can do the impossible. And God is real. That makes any sense, y'all? If you hadn't made a full stand and said, well, honey, amen, well, now, yeah, now, you know, maybe that's like, well, honey, yeah, where well, everybody working, you know, everybody, you, we know everybody got, is, got some good going on. But you ain't found good anyway. So you got to take a stand somewhere. And ain't that that you're making fun of the other fellow. You said, wait, well, hey, praise God, he doing good. Thank God for him doing good. Huh? But I can't run all the world, huh, and work it. I got to find a certain place, a certain place to work my faith. I got to sign a faith, faith, amen, to make that faith work for me. You see what I'm talking about? And this is why you had to understand what I'm saying today. You was able to have hell, you know, I didn't know, I ain't, I can't, what church you, this church or that church. But you got to find a farm place you go to and don't be shaking it. Farm place, the farm thing you believe in. You believe that God is God. The devil's a belief and tremble, scared. Amen. That's what the Bible said. Praise God. Uh-oh. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Devil. I believe in that one God that I do as well. The devil's believe and tremble. But will I know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Seeing thou how faith wrought with his work. Huh. By work was faith made perfect. Hook it together. By work faith was made perfect. Huh? Amen. You gotta hook that thing together. Perfect. In other words, you ain't lacking nothing now because you has learned how to connect your faith together. Huh? You learn how to let, you learn how to connect works with faith. Not working faith alone. It ain't getting no result. No matter how God has promised to bless you, but if you don't go out looking for a blessing, you ain't gonna get nothing. That means you got to, amen, do more than just sit at home and say, I'm praying. <laughs> you got to do more than just go to church and say, I'm, uh, uh, I'm sitting here praying. God's going to say, the way he said to you, you got to figure out that compel somebody to come to the house of God with you. Go out there and get somebody, bring somebody, pick them up, make your faith work. Huh? Bring somebody to church with you. Don't let the devil cheat you. The devil believe in it, huh? but the devil ain't done nothing. Amen. Yeah, it would be nice if you say, well, I'm going to make my faith work today. I'm going to have somebody sit inside me in church. That's working your faith. At least that's getting it to working. Huh? 
But you ain't getting nothing to do, ain't doing nothing. You ain't getting your faith to work. You got to work this faith. Amen. Yeah, praise God. This is what he said in the book. Amen. Was well, not Abraham our father justified by work? When he had offered eyes of his son upon the altar, Abraham was justified by work. Uh, he didn't got this and Abraham, you got faith now. Abraham got faith. But Abraham proved that he did have faith when God told him to go out and take his son and offer him up for sacrifice. Then he proved to God that he had faith in God. Y'all get it? What, y'all hear what I'm saying? And we're not Abraham, our father, just about that work. When he had offered Isaac, his son, upon the altar, seeing that die, how faith wrought with his work. And by work was faith made perfect. And the scripture was fulfilled. We said, Abraham believed God. Huh? Now, how can you believe God when you get your faith and work together working? When you make your faith work, when you make your, huh, your labor, huh? you're not just going on a job, sitting on a job, you're working. You're not just a set out Christian, you're working Christian. You're one of those children, amen, that has some works. Uh, working out your salvation. Working out. See, see, it's a whole lot behind this thing. The reason why faith got to work together, because at the end of time, we're going to be judged to call our work. Huh? And we're going to, oh, you didn't want to say it. Uh, I said we're going to be judged according to what you've been doing. You've been working, you're going to be judged to call me a work. In other words, you're going to get a crown or call you work. So if you ain't been done nothing, it's going to be kind of funny everybody that gets a crown with you. Yeah. So you judge the call, every one of us gonna be judged according to our work. Works. We're calling to how what you've been doing or what you did. And if you ain't did nothing, huh? Huh? You ain't done nothing. When time comes, you ain't gonna have nothing. Nobody ain't getting upset about you. You, know, you got to have some say something. You got to say, well, honey, well, what you doing? He said, well, this is my fruit. Because he said, you know, the way he's put it, he said that your fruit supposed to remain. Bear fruit, fruit will remain. So therefore, when you get come for God, you're going to have to show him some fruit. That's your work. You, when that's your work, you're going to have to have some Body. Or something to say, Lord, this is the young lady I found out there. This is the young man I found out there. This is the one I found. And you got to say, Amen. And I nurse you, not only bring it to the Lord, but you got to nurse it. Nurse that fruit. Make sure it stays with the Lord. And when you leave, and die, you leave some fruit behind you. Huh? So if you ain't bad no fruit, you ain't gonna leave a dead tree behind you. That's true. That's a dead tree. No fruit on it. Well, y'all don't hear that. Amen. You won't know say. And scripture was fulfilled which Abraham believed God and was put unto him for righteousness. He was called a friend of God. 
He would call what? A friend of God. Amen. Because there you go. Easy then how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only. Works and not faith only. Doing something is justified. Put your faith to work. That's why James says, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. And Jesus said, amen, he put it like this, but he shall receive power after the Holy Ghost come on you, and he shall be a witness unto me both in Jerusalem, at home, in the house, in your house. Jerusalem, in your house. At the very first place you're going to start, in your house. You're going to work your house. Work your children. Pray with them. Huh? Set up a strong, don't say, hey, man, go ahead. You know, it's kind of bad as the mother say, well, you, you say, go to church. Go anywhere, baby. You don't say, I want you to go to church with me. I'm not saying this, I'm not saying this with prejudice now. This is the way faith is working. You, as an individual, you're going to try to get people to follow you. Huh? Come on. You're going to try to be, get people to follow you. You'll probably get your household. The Bible says your household gets saved. You get saved. Your household gets saved. Then you go, you work your household. Huh? Amen. If you work your household, then God go bless you. Because Abraham did what God told him to do. <laughs> and he was called a friend of God. Because he did what he was going to do. He had his work together. His faith and work went together. Amen. He had some work with his faith. So when you get some work with your faith, you're going to be blessed. And always, you know, I know you, people look at faith and they think it's a common thing. I remember, amen, I'm, I live by faith. I always live by faith. There's a lady next door to me. She was, she was getting that commodity, whatever the commodity, what do you call it? Uh, uh, she was getting a, I mean a whole bunch of commodities. So I'm living by faith. She asked me, hey amen, to take her to get the commodity. And so when I took her to get the commodity and brought her home, she asked me one question, how much I charge? I said, nothing. I work with faith. She went in there and she, all she took out of my commodity was the cheese and the butter and gave me all the rest of it. I worked with faith. If I'd have charged her, I wouldn't have got nothing. See, you sometimes you got to work your faith. And from then on, every month I can to get the money, I had more money than anybody else. Hey, money's all on the bed. I mean, no. <laughs> money, I didn't even know what to do with. Because she had a great big box, two boxes of Flour, meal, beans and peas, and oatmeal, and rice, and all that stuff was in that box. And she gave it every, every month. All she did, I took it out there, and, and she gave, took out the butter and the cheese and gave me all this and stuff. See, faith got to work together. Put your faith to work. Huh? Amen. And this is what that little more praise God. About all more to it. Amen. You see then how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only. Faith, work. Prayer is good. But you got to know well, work for that prayer. You can work all, amen, pray all you want. If you don't learn how to put some work with it, it ain't going to work. 
that your prayers going to only work when you learn how to make put faith with the what? Huh? Abraham become a friend of God. He believed God. Then one of the little, just, just a moment. Likewise also was Rahab, the highly, the highly, justified by what? The highly. Now here's a little highly. Then just says, save me, she was justified by what? Highly. Prostitute. Huh? Was justified by her works. Huh? Y'all, y'all, y'all did that? Now, how did she make that thing work? She made those five promises to spare her in her household. When they come in to destroy the land, he made them make a vow that they would spare her in the household. And they told her, you get all your household in and let out the scars spread. When I see the scars spread, wherever, I'm going to spare your family. Even now, this is what happened. Amen. Likewise, also was they had the highly justified by works when she had received the spies and had sent them out another way. See, she did something. By her work. Now, this is what happened to Rahab. How? What we call a worldly woman. She. But you know who she became? The great, great grandma of Jesus. That was a holly. But she got there by her what? She became the great, great grandma of Jesus. Y'all listen? Come on, you put that weight together. I don't care wait, how low down you been, amen. It's going to pull you up to height. You can't stay down when you put faith and work together. Huh? It's not giving. You put giving. Somebody said, well, give, you need to hold on. You can't give and not be blessed. I don't care who you are. Because the Bible says, cast your bread upon the water, it shall return to you, not many days hence. Water is coming back. Just throw it out there. And it's coming back to you. So it is when you're doing something, it's always going to pay off. When you're blessing folks and helping folks, it's always going to pay off. And that's why he said you can't beat God giving, no matter how hard you try. Now you may try to beat him, but you can't beat God giving, because the more you give, the more God gives back to you. That's the way it works. And life comes through giving. Everything comes through giving. I, 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 I'm afraid I'm going to throw that out there. Everything you get out of life comes through giving. So I said, what do you mean? If you go out and pick up on folks, give your time, you'll be blessed. Huh? You give your time to bring folks to church, you'll be blessed. Huh? That's going to make your faith work. When you give your time to, to serve others, then you are going to be blessed. Because you become a servant of helping other folks. Did y'all know that? Amen. So, so we praise God. What do you mean? You go whatever you do. You ain't saying, God going to pay you for it. He's not going to let you go out there and fill your gas and pick up folks and don't give you no more gas. Fact is, if you're going to use your thing to pick up some, you, you really won't have to worry about transportation. Huh? You won't have to worry about it. You worry about God giving you something better. I look at it and say, well, praise God. Uh, 
Boy, tell my old car. Man, you might tell it. I had a, 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 this good news. I went, praise God. I got had a car to fit by four. I traded in and got a pound truck, right? I did it. I drove that old big long pound truck, hauling my family down the street, and I'm going to old pound truck. Give it out, amen. I'm giving a nice ride for a big old long pound truck to get with the fire so we got some lumber and made some seats in. And I was driving that thing and driving it for years, hauling folks. Brother stood up in church and said, Thus said the Lord. Huh? So he ain't gonna give you a car. He ain't gonna pay for it. Oh, uh, look here. <laughs> Y'all see what I'm saying? He said he ain't gonna give you a car and pay for it. And I ain't had to worry about no cars no more. And I drove the best car. Best car. Best car that run on wheels. Huh? Never had to pay uh, worry about a note being behind. Because I gave my car to the Lord's work. And the Lord paid me for it. Still paying me. Still riding good. Yeah. Riding good. Amen. Amen. Somebody said, what do you do with two cars, three cars? Somebody said, you drive. I said, drive all of them. Drive this today, this one tomorrow, and the next one the next day. See what I'm talking about? Whatever you do for the Lord is going to pay off. And God going to reward you for everything you do. And he won't say just a little bit more. I just about it. He said, by the way, for as the body without the spirit dead, so faith without what's it did. How he put it? The body without what? Without the spirit. It dead. So, the, so faith without works is dead also. When the spirit leaves his body, it's dead. Huh? See, so you're dead. And that's what's going to make this thing work. So faith without, uh, so, so faith without work is dead also. You go to church time after time, you just, you're dead. If you don't work your faith, you're dead. You got to make that faith work. Or else you're dead also. I didn't say that. The Bible said that. You're dead. Because you didn't get your faith to work in. Because you thought it was just good. All is good. Bless the Lord. I go to church every Sunday morning and set it out. No, he didn't say set it out. You said work it out. Huh? That means you're going to have to spend some of your good time telling somebody about my Jesus. If you want your faith to work, if you don't want some dead faith, if you don't want you're dead, you know what's dead is. Dead man don't know nothing. You hit him, spit on him, you hit him, do anything, he's dead. There ain't no life in him. Huh? Amen. Without faith, you're dead. I don't know how you look at it. You say, for him, without faith, you're dead. You're the dead person walking around here without faith. He said, oh, my Lord. That's what the Bible said. I didn't say it. So faith without works is dead also. If it ain't got no works, it's dead. So that means you got to get your faith to do what? Working. Working. Oh, you can talk it all you want to. But you got to work this faith. Huh, you how, amen, tell you what, amen, what kind of car you got if it don't run, it ain't no good. Huh? You can all, I don't care what kind of, how many D, D, L, L, D, then T, H, D, then P, H, D, H, H, D, and all them D together. 
But they ain't got no faith, no what to them. They're dead. You walk around with dead, dead bees and dead. <laughs> all of them dead. All of them dead. Huh? Because the only thing that's going to make them DDD, LLD, and THDs and PHDs work is faith. That make you better than everybody else. It's your faith. Yeah, uh -huh. it's your faith. DD is all right if you got faith with it. But if ain't no faith with it, it ain't going to work. Nothing will work without faith. Huh? And if God ain't with it, it just ain't going to work. How many know we need the Lord? Amen. I pray you get some out of this day because, amen. Think about it, what I said. You want your faith to work. Number one, you got to be firm in what you believe and where you believe it at. Huh? Find your place that you can be firm in and you can put your trust in and then work it to build the house of the Lord. You got to find a place you will work, willing to work it, willing to go out there and bring your fruit. Some fruit y'all, clean enough to put your food in, huh? And work it. And if you do that, well, I'm here or not, you're going to be blessed. And the reason why we're not blessed because we don't, ain't doing nothing. Come on, I'm just only going to tell y'all this and y'all listen that good. And reread it over again when you think about it. Because we need to have a firm faith. Don't look up and say to your children, amen, look at your children, say, go where you please. You make a decision, help your children. Help them to, help them to believe in faith. Huh? You got to help them. You got to, I know you look at me funny and say, we well, pray because you want. No, you got to make a decision. Children. Because in the long run, their life depends on your life. Their blessing depends upon your blessing. The parents' blessing will go down to the children's blessing. So as the parents bless, so will the children be blessed. So that's why you need to make a firm stand for your children to be blessed. Do y'all get that? Firm stand because as they bless, or you can be holding their blessing up by you not making a firm stand. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. Say, so do what you want. No, I ain't gonna never tell my do what you want to do. They may do what they want to do. But I'm not gonna tell them to do what they want to do. Because I'm responsible for them at least knowing the way of truth. You're responsible at least for your children knowing the way of truth. Amen? I said you're responsible for your children knowing the way of truth. Stand to your feet. Y'all hear what I said? I know this may not have been the best lesson in the world, but it's faith. At the end of time, we're coming to close the end. And some of us are going to wonder why our faith didn't work. But you can start from the day on making it what? Making your faith what? Doing something. Huh? And read that in old, read James over again and read it again and again and, and see what James going to tell you over and over. That the body is dead without the spirit, so your faith without works. Can you say amen? Give, give the Lord a great big old hand. Woo! I tell you, boy, I, I pray, praise God. Maybe somebody would like this John Church. Maybe you like John this church. Make a commitment to it. If you'd like to join this church, you maybe like you just come. We don't, we don't send a stand hand invitation all the time, but every once so often we send a hand invitation, give people a chance if they like the church.
to come praise God. Amen. Is God good to you all the time? Tell the Lord you love him. Woo. Let us pray. Father God, we, we thank you for your blessing, your kindness, love, tender compassion. Another day and another hour that you blessed us, oh God. Bless this place and bless this people today. Bless them one by one and name by name. Oh God, bless this day in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.